Let's talk backwards compatibility. So with 1D&D or D&D &D 5e 2024 or 2024 Player's Handbook, whatever you want to call it, whatever anyone's calling it, it's on the horizon. It's right around the corner, a few months away. And when that comes out, as of right now, we don't know exactly where all of our old characters stand. Now, the D&D &D design team has been saying for a while now that there will be backwards compatibility. And they've attempted to explain what they mean by backwards compatibility, but let's be honest. We're all gamers. We know what backwards compatibility means. It means being able to interact with something from you know a previous system, a previous generation, and it meshing properly, working in tandem. And a lot of what they're saying isn't backwards compatibility. So on one hand, they're saying that you'll be able to play your 2014 characters or the characters made with the 2014 player's handbook and everything after that before the 2024 handbook with any character made in the 2024 handbook. However, if you make a character with the 2024 player's handbook, it's heavily recommended you use the rules in that same handbook, regardless of whether or not you have an older character. And Jeremy Crawford has come out and said that while that is what you should do, and you can still play your 2014 character with the 2024 rules, they're going to grind. He didn't really go in detail and explain what he means by the, the rules will grind. To me, any form of grinding is not good, is not compatibility. It's, I mean, if you're driving your car and you hear a grinding noise, you're gonna pull over and try and figure out what the hell's going on with your car. You're gonna take it to a shop and figure out what the hell's going on with your car. It's not a compatibility thing, it's bad. Um, now, luckily, D&D has always been one of those games where, you know, the DM has been able to very quickly rewrite some rules. Um, nothing is really set in stone, especially if you've got a good DM. But we really shouldn't have to. If they're promising us backwards compatibility and they're giving us two Legos that don't really fit together unless you push really, really hard, that's not okay. It's not the first time WotC has promised something and under-delivered, um, but what, from what I've seen, there has been very close to delivering what's promised, closer than I've ever seen them come. Um, unfortunately, there is not going to be complete backwards compatibility it's not going to be what we want uh some of our favorite subclasses are being changed in some cases for the better in some cases for the worse some of our favorite classes are being changed like just to, to rattle one off uh divine smite for a paladin is now a bonus action spell i know that pissed off a lot of people and i get it believe me i've never played a paladin but i understand but you can't really use a 2014 made paladin with that rule in place. It's not a matter of grinding. It's a matter of your character concept isn't going to work anymore. That's not backwards compatibility. Now, I'm not one of the 11 people that they've given previews to the player's handbook to. Um, so nothing I'm saying is fully set in stone. And I'm trying to be hopeful for the future especially for the future of this game that you know we all love so much. If you didn't love it, you wouldn't be watching me, of all people, complaining about backwards compatibility. But I'm trying to stay hopeful, and they're making it really hard with some of the things they say. Now, comicbook.com put out a, an article on the 19th of June where they kind of interviewed Jeremy Crawford. They, they talked to some of the people of the D&D design team, and even that article wasn't too terribly concise. It was riddled with, you know, veiled promises, half-truths. We don't know exactly what's going on, even with the information they've given. Even with um, the subclasses that they've released, the, some of the spells they've released, some of the class changes they've released, we still don't know what, fully what's going on with anything 
unfortunately, I don't think we will until September. Um, so we're just going to have to be patient on that one. But let's not get our hopes up with backwards compatibility here. It's not going to be a thing, I don't think. In my mind, I can't find any way they can salvage this for backwards compatibility as we know it, as we want it. It's going to be some dredged up abomination where, yeah, you can bring some of your stuff from 2014 into the game still, but it's not going to work like it should. It's going to be a gutted mess. The only thing they have that they can fully claim is backwards compatibility is the the campaign modules, which, let's be real here, campaign modules are fun, they're, they're neat, I personally hate them, they get old fast, homebrew's where it's at with certain stipulations on that one. And it's cool that we can make a 2024 party and run it through, like, Curse of Strahd or uh, Land of Fendelver. It's, it's cool, but I don't know about you, but that's not what I was expecting when I heard backwards compatibility. Uh, when I heard that one d d isn't a new addition, it's... Just a, a slight revision of some of the rules. It's not a slight revision of the rules. It has now become its own addition. No matter what the D&D design team says, one D&D is its own addition. It's its own standalone addition now. It, just like 5e took concepts from 4e and 4e took concepts from 3.5 and 3, one D&D took concepts from 5e and changed them and pushed them along. Just like every edition before, it is its own standalone edition now and that's cool i guess but not if they're gonna sit there and keep saying oh it's not its own edition it's it's just a a, a slight change for 5e it's still 5e it's not 5e anymore um we've dropped the artificer class it's no longer a thing in 1 dnd &D. i don't think there's gonna be there's not gonna be any rules for converting it right from the get-go um they dropped a bunch of the subclasses. There are supposedly some conversion rules to make them work still. I haven't seen them. I've looked. I've gone digging. I've found none of the rules. Maybe one of the 11 people previously mentioned that got the previews can, can enlighten us on that. Hopefully, let's tag them in the comments, see if they can start giving us some information that the D&D design team is refusing to for whatever reason. But unfortunately, I don't see uh, us being able to properly use the Bladesinger Wizard or the, the Hexblade Rogue, not Rogue, Warlock. You know, the, the fun stuff that we've loved that's gotten dropped, I don't see us being able to use it properly with 1D&D anytime soon. I hope I'm wrong, but who knows what the future holds. But... As more information comes out, I will continue updating you guys, so thanks for watching.